In 2023, I exchanged my big three and saved 65% of my pack weight. I decided to switch out my big three in 2023 and the big three being my tent, my backpack and my sleep system. And the sleep system is then the sleeping bag and the sleeping pad. So you may call it the big four, but it's maybe more commonly known as the big three. So tent, backpack, sleep system. I decided to put the big spending on my big three to try to make a difference in my pack weight that was overall for me quite heavy. Starting off with the tent then maybe. Uh, I used to have a tunnel tent from the Norwegian producer Bergans of Norway. I bought this tent when I started to backpack some years ago. Uh, I did look at the weight when buying it because I didn't want a too heavy tent. I wanted a two person tent. So I bought this. It was not cheap, but it wasn't expensive either. Uh, so I bought this tunnel tent for two persons weighing in at 2.7 kilograms. It has been a very good tent, but it was a bit too heavy for me and it took a lot of space in my backpack. I had to place it vertically uh, and kind of put stuff around it to, to fill out the backpack and I didn't really want it. I wanted to place the tent horizontally in my backpack uh, to save some space and, and make it easier to pack. So eventually I wanted to replace it and I bought the Durston Gear XMID Pro two-person tent made of Dyneema and not with a Dyneema floor. It's super light, it doesn't take up a lot of space in the backpack and I can place it horizontally in the backpack. It weighs in at 570 gram and it's a trekking pole tent so I use trekking poles but I don't count them as I use them when I'm out hiking. Uh, but I do need to add uh, some tent stakes and maybe some guy lines so you could add probably some 85 grams to uh, the weight. So all in all, uh, I'm very happy with the tent and the exchange that I made. I get the same space and comfort, but I have a reduction in weight of almost two kilos or 70% uh, compared to my previous tent. And then the backpack. Well, when I first started to backpack and hike, I bought a brand new Osprey Zenit 88 liter backpack. I wanted to make sure I could fit everything I needed for my backpacking trip, uh, which of course meant that I brought too much. Uh, more on that in another video maybe. Uh, so I had the 88 liter Osprey backpack weighing in at two and a half kilos, which isn't, you know, there are heavier backpacks, but there are definitely lighter ones. So when I bought the XMID Pro two person tent from Durston Gear, I took the opportunity to buy at that time, the brand new Durston Gear Kakwa 55 liter backpack. So I switched from 88 liters to 55 liters, which was quite scary. I think I mentioned it in another video of mine. But the Osprey, it had mini compartments small compartments with zippers, well padded uh, hip belt, 
Uh, so yeah, it was quite, quite comfy. The Durston Kakwa 55 is just a big hole where you put everything in. Uh, it's less padded, but super comfortable. Having had the XMID Pro 2 percent tent and the Kakwa 55 for a year now, I can only say good things about them. They are near to perfection, I must say. In line with, with the other gear that I bought, the tent and the backpack, I had to buy a new uh, sleeping pad because the, the sleeping pad that I had was very warm and, and, and thus very heavy. Uh, I used to have the XPED 7M something and the sleeping pad had a R value of 5.8, which is, which is good, but it's, you know, maybe a bit too much during the summer when I usually backpack. It's very mm, comfortable and uh, nice in, in, in all ways, but it is uh, on the heavier side. It weighs in at 885 grams. So what I did, and when it comes to sleeping pads, I went ultra light. I searched for the, for the lightest uh, sleeping pad that I could find. So I came upon the uh, Thermarest NeoAir Uberlight uh, in regular size weighs in all included 330 grams. It's uh, super light. It's quite comfy actually. You know, there are comfier sleeping pads for sure. But it's it it it's it's perfectly okay. So when it comes to sleeping pads, and of course as mentioned, not fully comparable because 5.8 R value versus 2.3 R value for the Uberlight, I think it still saves me 555 grams just for the sleeping pad, which is about a 35% weight reduction compared to the sleeping pad that I had. And after buying the tent, the backpack, the new sleeping pad, I thought I was about done. I hadn't exchanged the big three, really. Uh, I thought of saving a bit of money and, and maybe exchanging the sleeping bag this year. But then at the end, I, I, I still realized that I wanted a, a less bulky and lighter sleeping bag as well to to complete my big three uh, so a few months after i exchanged the the other ones i bought a new sleeping bag as well so my first sleeping bag was you know very comfortable very warm uh, but yeah somewhat on the heavier side i had and, and still have because it's a great sleeping bag uh, it's the marmot sawtooth with a comfort rating of 6.4 degrees Celsius, minus 6.4 degrees Celsius. So it's a, a down sleeping bag, a mummy shape, and it weighs in at 1150 grams, so 1.15 kilos. There are indeed, you know, heavier sleeping bags for sure. And this was fairly, this is fairly light for, for the comfort rating that it has, but it's too warm for the backpacking trips I usually go on. So I wanted to go lighter and less bulky. And I wanted it to fit in my Kakwa 55 together with the other gear that I bought. So what did I buy then? Well, uh, after some research, I went for the Cumulus x Lite 400 with a comfort rating of minus one degree Celsius, weighing in just at 575 grams. And with a comfort rating of minus one degrees, it should take me through the shoulder seasons, uh, spring, summer, and, and early fall. 
so I feel quite comfortable this will do the job. And again, of course, a lighter sleeping pad with a lower comfort rating is not fully comparable with a heavy one with a better comfort rating. But the Cumulus x lite 400 covers me for the trips that I'm going on, at least for now, which is great and it's super nice to know that I have a warmer sleeping bag back home if I ever will go on colder trips during late fall, early spring or even winter, God forbid. But with the weight savings of 575 grams for the Cumulus versus the Marmot sleeping bag, I actually save 50% weight on my sleeping bag. So there you have it. I replaced my big three and saved 4.5 kilos or 65% on my pack weight. Replacing your big three is in no way cheap. The gear that I bought is definitely not cheap. And you might think it's unreasonable to spend so much money on hiking and backpacking gear. But there are cheaper alternatives, definitely. And if you want, leave a comment below on any gear that you think could be replaced for a cheaper one and maybe I'll come up with a few myself. So please comment below. If you're interested in knowing more about the gear that I carry on my backpacking adventures, please have a look on the gear playlist that I have up here or here. Yeah, you know. And that's it for this video. Now I better continue hiking, escape the mosquitoes and get back home. Take care, see you in the next one.